ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the LBLCS. It's week two, January 11th. That's 1-11, one one one, or if you're from the UK, 1-1-1 one 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 on the date. The date is 2021. A lot of ones going on. Both of these teams, though, 1-0. Oh. Uh, and I'm joined by someone who's not Jerome uh, as my co-caster here in not Jerome. I'm just going to call you names that aren't Jerome, so I'm going to go with Alex tonight. That that works for me. Okay, so I'm with Alex because it's not Jerome. No. Anything but. Yeah. Okay. And you were telling me, and we were having a very private, intimate call, possibly yes, maybe too intimate. Um, but some would say. Some would say. You were very nervous. Do you want to talk about how intensely nervous you are? You've never casted before. I am. Uh, I'm shaking in my boots right now, I have to say. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm really balanced on the razor's edge. Uh, don't know what's going to happen. I'm excited to see. Looking forward to it. Battle of the Undefeateds. Ba- it is Battle of the Undefeateds. He's done his homework, ladies and gentlemen. Both of these teams 2 0 in week one. Uh, and they are going to need pro draft here before we load into the game so that they have equal playing field for their drafting phase. Uh, chat already roasting me. Thanks, guys. It doesn't take long. Hey, guys, fuck you. <laughs> Takes you to tango. Takes you to tango. Takes you to tango. Drink at home. All right, we're just waiting for this link so we can get on in here. Do you guys have better copy pastas by now? That's been around for like three or four seasons, I feel like. If it's a classic, you don't want to mess with it. That's true. That's true. But I feel like they could have another one that is more insulting to me. When when you've got the secret recipe for success, you don't you don't ever want to alter that. That's fair. I'm down with that. Love you, Buggles. Says Tommy Welshy. Tommy Welshy. Interesting name. I love you too, dude. Hope you have a good night. Lame City, this is the best LCS there is. Lame City knows what the fuck he's talking about. He is in. He is down to clown. He's here to stay. Yeah. These teams having the same number of world's victories as TSM, proving that they are <laughs> essentially one and the same. Oh my God. Interchangeable. <laughs> he's whipping it out. Now, they did actually change the semi professional scene of, the, like, of how LS, LCS works. Um, so, our CEO teams, our big boy dog teams, we're working to try to, um, you know, network them into maybe one of these tournaments. You know, if they can be, if they can win our tournament, can I get them to compete in a tournament before the tournament, before the tournament to get into the LCS? Yeah. We're gonna find out. Are they gonna win it? Only if they have a high enough budget. We don't have that. I'm still waiting for the uh, pro draft link, guys. If you're in this game and you're listening to this stream and you want to get me that pro draft link, it would be just so wonderful. Ruffy and I know you're listening to the stream. I see you right there. Give me that pro draft link, boy. Cough it up. Oh, we gotta do um. You know what we gotta do? We gotta do predictions. We gotta we gotta do predictions. We always do predictions. I haven't set them up yet. I'll, if there's any moderator at home that wants to set up the predictions and have me do less work, I'm all about doing less work. You know. I'm, I'm into and it. And why wouldn't you be? Yeah, I mean, what's work for something I don't want to do, you know? Let's look at these names here. Sheer F. Kin Luck, which is how you pronounce it. I did ask him how he pronounced that. That's how you pronounce it. Uh, Norik, Rexland, near to here. Okay, so so we should mention this. Sensei Randalls is the longest running organization in the LBLCS. And this team over here on the right, on the red side, is Ergotum Boot Camp. Brand Absolutely new. brand new. Just just a storied franchise on one side and uh and some beginners on the other. Yeah, we we got uh We actually have these guys are champions. Uh Sensei Randall's won Executive League in season three. They came in second in economy league in season four. They've been around making playoffs. This team has always made playoffs. This team has never not made playoffs. So they are playoff masters. They always make it whether or not they'll win. Uh, you know, that's up to them. But uh, they have one. And we're going to see if they can again tonight. Guys, I'm going to let you 
vote with your schmeckles right now. I just set up the prediction uh, counter. It's up for 15 minutes. So by then, hopefully, we should at least have a draft if you want to wait a little bit before you, you holler out those predictions. Um, got any kind of... Oh, and rejoice. The pro draft link there it comes is. in. There it is. I hope that's the real one. I hope they're not, they're not tricking me. This is a trick. I'm going to be mildly entertained. I don't think it's a trick. I'll put it on. I'll put it on the stream now. Now that I've double checked it. All right. So Alex, if that's your real name, um, yeah. you're new to the league. You're new to the to the the casting scene. Absolutely. You know a little bit about Notorious Bud, though. Everybody knows about Notorious Bud. He's notorious. Uh, he is. He is. The he, name rings true. The name. Even you know him. Uh, we've seen him play Fiora, and we've seen him play Brand so far. Are you hoping he whips out that absolutely crazy lifesteal build, or do you want him? Do you want to see him go like unique with it? Do you want to see him go that avant-garde kind of weird top laner? I would. I would love a fusion of the two. I think on hit Brand is <laughs> frequently slept on in competitive play. I, I rarely see that. it. I rarely no. see it. Going back through the archives, I'm. I'm not sure I've ever seen it. And uh, nor, but nor I will you. If, I think if there if there were somebody who would be able to find success with it, mm -hmm. this this is the man for the job. You're right. This is the man with the goddamn like he is an absolute pioneer of the top lane. We're talking about people that create a meta. Uh, we had letters in season one, and I, this is gonna sound crazy, everybody, but letters season one now lives in Berlin, so he's he's in the LBLEC, which is not yet a thing, um, but. He is the first ever player to force the Morgana support meta back in season two. That's an that's an honest. He, is, he, is that true? That's true. It's true. True to the very very heart of it. He was he played it all season two, and it became a big thing at the end of season two, towards season three. So maybe he's not the first person that ever had to do it or did do it, but he. He figured out, oh, this is a great, this isn't a mid laner, this is a great support, and he did it, and the champion became basically tailored to that role afterwards. Um, and he yeah. was high diamond, so he was a player that that, that mattered. Um, Unlike the rest of the player base, which, if you're below diamond... Is, Near to is here says relevant. such riveting commentary, and I, I'm going to take that as though it's not sarcastic, even though... No, my it's heart, just unilateral it, phrase, I think. It is unilateral, yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. He's just loving it. Uh, Bud, though, he's one of those pioneers. This guy... Oh, we're in the draft. We're going. Mordecai's are taken away. Away from... Wow, they're throwing... Okay, I've never seen this. I never see them throw top lane bans. You know you have the notorious Bud top lane. Why ban anybody? Yeah. What? Ban out his champ ocean. It's impossible. Yeah. Pantheon, no surprise there. Urga... Oh, my God! Uh, Wait, is this a bottle ban. of top lane chads? I might even say screw it with directed camera and just follow around Bud all game. I don't think I will, but I'm considering it in my mind right now. Yasuo going to be banned out away from the only one whose name would encourage the, the use of Yasuo or, or Yone, eh? You, you would think so. I would hope. <sighs> and a Malphite. Okay. Tale as old this time. That's three top lane vans. You could say Malphite can go in multiple positions. It's true. You could say Mordecai could technically go mid. That's true. Yeah. But that's really three traditional top laners that they're going to ban away. They want Bud to win this top lane. That's there, what it looks yeah. like to me. Center the draft around. You got to you gotta play for your studs. Yeah. And Bud is a stud for sure. Absolutely. In the, uh, in the truest sense of the word. Well, I'm kind of excited. Oh, we don't know what that is yet. We're going to wait for confirmation. I think they're going to try to find out through... Uh, wait, they're not saying anything. There's no... I don't know what that ban is yet. I'm waiting. Okay. It was Leona. They banned Leona yeah. out last. All right. That is a great ban, actually. If you're yeah. really scouting these teams here, um, Slothman228 loves to pick Leona, and they like to pair it with Samira, and Samira's going to be picked up right there for Ruffian. Uh, a all-star. ADC of the Economy League last year and of our hearts. Um, we're going to see... Hearts hearts and minds, absolutely. Hearts and minds. Hopefully we get to see a little bit more uh, of these these big common picks. Some really big picks are up. I know we're live and without any delay, so I'm really nervous to talk about the great picks that there are there. Akali picked up here. Yeah, no, no surprise there. Picked that's, in both their prior matches. Yeah, that's going to be on their mid laner, I'm pretty sure. I think Rexland is going to take that Akali, although you could flex it to T1 Kang. Kang. 
Um, we will see what they do end up doing. Ivern's also secretly a takeaway. Old No Name in the jungle there does play that Ivern. And that Vladimir, if they do lock it in, is massive. That's such a, such a powerful, good pick. Uh, I would like to see it locked in here. Three seconds left. They do lock it in. That is a possible flex. Uh, it yeah. should be mid lane. But it's not. Notorious Bud does know how to play it. He does have the ability to, although it cannot really build the strict lifesteal build he enjoys. Perhaps not, but I mean, he is a lifesteal character mm -hmm. uh, through his kit, however. Fits not the through, MO. Uh, I would say definitely within within the range. Morgana, okay, so the bot lane locked in there. Yeah. And a pretty solid one at that. That's going to be definitely, definitely a pain for... And Ergonom's going to hover this Twitch right now. We will see if it is the one locked in. Now, there's been a couple different builds for Twitch lately, so I'm going to hold off on talking. It's not even locked in. It is going to be nope. the Orn that is locked in. They just hover the Twitch. So a pretty tanky team, but it looks like they've shown their hand. They're saying, you know, here's our top, here's our mid, here's our jungle. I don't I don't like that, and I'm going to talk about why I don't like that right away. You don't have to show that Orn right there. No, you've, you've given up your flex too early right. on the Akali. Yeah, so my thing is, like, the other team has shown their bot lane. You could pick a part of the bot lane because you can counter it right now. You show the top yeah. lane. That's a spot you haven't picked yet. Now they know where things are going. They can decide, okay, Vladimir's going to go into Zakali, or Vladimir's going to go into Orn, and we're going to throw something else against the other one. They get, they now have that choice without having to worry about the flex because you are on red side. When you're on red side, you want to hold that last pick for a true counter or for a great like way to round out your team comp. So... I, I feel like the only way the Orn makes sense is if you look at the, the three first bans and think they're they're just going to keep going on top laners and that mm. you need to get one in before the second phase of bans, which would make some sense. Absolutely. But. No, I agree. But still, you, you have that threat of the Akali. I mean, I think if you're doing your scouting and you're, you're in this league, you're in commercial D1 and you're looking at these teams, you're probably... You're, you're fairly probably confident. Know. You know. You know where the Akali yeah. is, right? Like, you think it's mid lane most likely. Echo is the last ban. Norik NA, thank you so much for being clear with that. Slothman on my stream also, on, or at least on my screen, uh, did clarify that as well, so thank you guys for clarifying. Echo is that last ban. So they're going to ban away two junglers here. Um, however, some big priority picks for all No Name are still available. In fact, I would say three massive junglers have been left open for him that he does prefer. And I'm not going to talk about them yet. I don't want somehow one to be taken away or to be, to be learned too seriously. Um, but once it's their turn to pick, I will start talking about them. Kaisa's hovering right Kaisa, now here for very Urgot. strong. Makes a lot of sense there. So a couple of picks that we could see because of how slippery these characters are, especially the carries. Skarner? is a really big pickup for Old No Name. He does play it a lot. It has the single target lockdown. They have a bunch of extra damage with Samir of Vladimir. I mean, you don't really need to be drafting too much more damage after that. You can carry late game. You just have to survive through that mid. Skarner also might be good enough with Morgana to basically have a 4-1 split, which you like to see. Fiddlesticks was another one I was about to just jump in to talk about. However, that's also a flex right now in my mind. Can go top. It is going to be the Fiora, the though. Fiora. The very favored... Lifesteal champion in which I cannot wait to see Bud's bill. I believe his last item he went on it was it was Trinity Force for his mythic. I think Trinity Force, and then he went into full lifesteal. And the Thresh, the Twitch hover. What will it be? I think Thresh is a good pickup if they do decide to go it. I'm a little bit worried. So uh, Thresh is a great pickup because of the mobility it provides for the teams, because of the ability to reposition. Um, Orn is a really solid pick. My worry with this team composition, though, is if you kill Akali and Kaisa, or even just one of them, the fight becomes all on the other. They don't have constant yeah. consistent damage. Like, Fiora can keep doing damage. Fiddlesticks can keep doing damage. Vladimir, Samira, even Morgana can do solid damage in team fights. So I think they have a better spread. However, the the... 5v5, if Orn hits a good ult, if Kais is able to do free damage, they play front to back, I think these guys can definitely carry these team fights in the river. My my concern with the Thresh is, who do you hook? Samira has the Wind Wall, Vlad has the Pool, Morgana Spell Shield, and a Fiora Parry. I, uh, <laughs> obviously you can make the hooks happen, but I'm, I'm a little confused. Like, who do you target? For You've sure. got to bait out these key abilities. So sometimes Thresh's most important ability 
is the presence of the hook possibly coming out so you hold that spell? Yes, yes, and, just and, the threat. Right, the, the threat of, of it being there lingering. Also, the lantern is super important, right? If Kaisa does get hit by a binding and Skarner's sprinting up at her, a lantern brings her safe. A lantern can reposition. Um, right. Ivern can have the extra shield, can help reposition with that daisy to try to block some damage. So there, there are elements they have that can be really, really useful within these. Um, it really depends how laning phase go, and, and then how good are these two teams at communication. We know for a fact Sensei Randall's has pretty solid communication, and we're going to assume that Urgot and... Uh, yeah, being 2-0, oh, they must being, have something right, going for them. Right, you would think. We're just waiting for uh, us to switch on over. I'm going to switch the screen back on over to the original screen where since I ran are on the blue side, we've got Ur Gotham Boot Camp on the red. Draft has been done. It is chosen. I'm here with not Jerome, but not Alex. Uh, that's what they call him. It's what they call him. Everybody calls him it. Definitely not some other name that I don't know. And then right. we move through the proper draft. We're going to jump in. Chat, who you think is going to win? Who you putting your schmeckles on? Remember, that is our channel points. Where are the schmeckles going? Let me see. Where. Oh, my God. 94% of all schmeckles bet have gone to Sensei Randall's. People think that team they know. They've seen the name before. They're going to vote for it. Wild. I should I should have done it on is Bud gonna build only life steal because then it would have been a hundred to zero. Although three point three k under her got him now. We're just speeding through this draft. I love it. Yeah. The more you play in the LBLCS, the more you will be able to know that you're gonna go to pro draft, and then your top laner's got to be on top of it with the bands. <laughs> we played some preseason scrims that one of the teams I play for, um, and. We, we, we did pro draft, and then we went into the game, and I think draft got messed up four or five times before we got through the first three bands because people were accidentally picking their champion and banning instead of <laughs> just banning three champions. So there is a little bit of a learning curve, but it's, it does look like that. Uh, Sensei Randall should be on the ball. Notorious Bud is a man of strict action. And uh, or got him boot camp. I mean, they're, they're here to play. They're down to clown. They've got a, another team yep. in the same org that is in the executive league. So these guys are... Uh, an organized group of five, I will say. The, the fans do not believe in them, apparently. But uh, I, I I hope that doesn't, you know, weigh on their conscience too much. Alex, it's not that they don't believe in them. It's that they believe in Bud. Fair. That's fair. The yeah. fans over here are saying, Bud is going to win this fucking game. And it might be, he might feed aggressively. And his team might carry him to victory. But to, to the fans, that's not going to be what they see. They're going to see Bud winning the game. And that's what they give a shit about. You can't ban Bud out. And you, you can't truly can't blame them. Yeah. I I'm pretty excited. Now we've got a whole basically four minutes because this is counting down from 50. Don't know why it's yeah. got to do that to us, but it will. So chat, if you want us to talk about anything, if you want us to give us give us a ring, you know, call on in. Maybe join the community channel in, in the LBLCS Discord. I might pull you up. I might not. I might say, I don't want to talk to that guy. We can um, open the phone lines? I didn't know about this. We can open the phone lines right now. In fact, they're open. Join community if you got an opinion about these two team comps. And I'll pull you on up. And if you're not in part of our community, if you're not part of that, guys, scroll down below. Our Discord is right there. You can click on that. Enter our wonderful community where Toxic League doesn't exist. All right, I've got a, a man here. He's joining right now. In fact, so is his captain, PHG Little, which is the most controversial name because this man is huge on the Rift. What do you have to say about these two well, team comps? Well, uh, I just like to say that uh, I've seen both these teams play both their games. By the way, um, I I've seen Yonli once Vlad. I mean, he's not bad, but I think he could use a little bit of help with the build. Definitely. All right. Yeah. No. No. Keep flaming him. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'd like to see a voice staff in there. Cosmic Drive is trash, just saying. Anyway, <laughs> okay. uh, I think the uh, Bud Fiora is pretty terrifying. Not sure how they let him have that. But uh, maybe they didn't, <laughs> like, maybe that slipped through the research somehow. Also, Samira, Ruffian, you know, Ruffian likes those hyper aggro champs. He's kind of going to pop off. Uh, uh, and your captain? Do you have anything to say? Well, we're just here to say that since Ruffian bet against us in our game, yeah, maybe by accident, maybe or not. 
but we like the two of us and our other player make up like all of the betting for Gotham in this game. Okay, so you guys are big, or you're backing your guy. I know there's a big rivalry between you guys and the ruffian team. Uh, I know it's a thing that is going on, so I hope you guys get points. But I will say to PhD Little, you should really change your fucking name because he's not little at all. You're absolutely <laughs> massive. Um, it's, it's a bait, bro. It's a bait. It's a bait. That's what it is. Uh, this Fiora, you can't ban out Bud. I'm going to tell you right now. It's you, true. You could We've throw tried. 60 bands. doesn't matter. If there's a melee champ in the game and he can buy lifesteal items, he's going to do it. Uh, so I do agree with not throwing a band. If you are going to throw one, though, I think it is the Fiora. I do agree with that. Thank you guys for popping in here. Uh, we do appreciate it. we got one more person I'm going to drag Thank in you. right now. Uh, it's Darkly Lorik. Uh, he's got some opinions about this draft. What are you going to say, my dude? I just want to say that they should have picked Ramus. They should have picked Ramus. Yeah. In the top lane or in general? Jungle top, it doesn't matter. They should have picked Ramus. <laughs> Something to deal with. with Something to deal Bud. with. Bud. Yeah. So in the All Stars game, um, at the end of last season, I, I saw it. But that was not a true Ramus player. <laughs> the Ramus top. It, I know it's just somebody who picked Ramus. They're like, well, it's just what could somebody who it? picked Ramus because it became a copy pasta because I said it so much. <laughs> But no, a, a, a true Ramus well, would have beaten him. Darkly, there's a whole other yes. game after this one, and maybe these guys are listening right now and hearing that maybe you should pick Ramus. Uh, they should. It, it just, just don't even try to ban Bud out. It's impossible. You just pick Ramus. <laughs> just pick Ramus. It's the way. This is. And, and if you the and if way. and if you don't win, you're just not a true Ramus. You have to you have to work on it. Okay, well, I thank you so much for your that's, opinion. That's it, yeah. It's a powerful that's... one. Uh, we're going to talk some about Some free it. advice for the coaching staff. Yeah. Yeah. I'll see you all later. See you later, man. Thank you so much for coming on in. All right, Alex. We're about to pop into this oh. game. we got about 14 oh, man. seconds before we are in. Um, I'm ready to talk about the game. I'm ready to cast it. Are you ready? I know you said you were nervous. I am so ready, you wouldn't believe how ready I am. Alex, check this. Get something to calm your nerves. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're playing at home... It takes two to tango. Let's get this going. Oh, that's cold. Oh. All right. Velveteen Sky. Maybe the cutest member of Commercial D1. 